Okay, this is hopefully going to be a quick tutorial as to how to remove the keys from a Roland HP 230 digital piano. This is produced in about 1996-97. Okay, first step, once you have the, the main case open, which is quite a task in itself if you don't know what you're doing, I might make another tutorial about that one soon. Um, first step is to remove this front shroud section. Um, section just here. I think there's four screws to remove before you can get that off. There's one here and there's one underneath here. Sorry there's actually a row of screws underneath the piano as well. Anyway that's not the main point of this tutorial. So first we remove that one. I've already removed the screws. Just be careful that you don't damage the little LED power light on the front when you're removing it. Okay. Alright, so first of all, um, the main issue with this keyboard is you actually need a, a specialised key to remove each each key from the, from the board. Um, but you can actually make one yourself out of a, a very thick paper clip. And uh, we need a paper clip that's at least a millimetre wire thickness, if not a little bit more. This was the thickest clip I could find. I'll put a few directions as to how to bend this um, in the text of the tutorial. But anyway, it basically looks like this. Okay. Now the first step to remove the key is um, to press the key down and you'll see a little hole towards the back of the key. And what you need to do is you need to put your key remover key or tool into the slot and it should slip underneath a, a small latch. And if you got it incorrectly and the key works, you should be able to remove your fingers and the key should stay down. Now that's, uh, if you can do that, then the next step is quite easy. All you need to do is lift the key upwards and apply a uh, finger pressure towards uh, on the back of the key and push it towards the front of the keyboard and the key should just pop straight out then okay and then there's the key with the, <laughs> the, the um, tool still in it I find that it's best to, to press just under here with your, your finger and then remove the key otherwise the actual mechanism pops tends to pop open and um, there's a spring in there that will fly out it's not, not too hard to put back in but just so you know. And to put it back in again you actually don't need the, um, uh, the key at all. You can just slip it back in, push down on the key and then push back in towards the back of the keyboard. Now let's remove that one again because we're going to re remove a black key as well. Okay, I'll put that aside. The black key is slightly different. Um, you still put the, the tool in and you depress the key, push the, the latch inside. I should better let it go now and it should stay there by itself. Now we need to lift the black key up. This time we're actually going to push it backwards towards the back of the keyboard and it comes straight out there. There's a bit of a, a hook on the, the plastic here so Putting it back in again, let's just remove the key. Let's push it back in. We simply pop it back in there and then push it back, push down the back of it and then push it back towards the, let's push it forward, sorry, towards the front of the keyboard. And it should be back in place again. Here's the other one. Now what we're doing here is I'm, on my keyboard I repaired it and I needed to get in there's a strip of contacts under here and what happens with these contacts is they become a bit fouled over time or uh, as was the case in this particular piano some moisture from a, perhaps a drink or something had got um, down in to the, uh, the key um, contact area. By, by removing all these keys, I had to actually remove quite a lot of keys to get to the, 
to the area because they're in chunks, the, uh, the contact pads, and I wasn't able to remove the, the contact uh, pads and um, clean underneath with a, with a um, pencil eraser. And you can actually uh, renew the contacts uh, with a, a high carbon pencil like a Anyway, a very dark lead pencil should do the trick. Anyway, that's the tutorial for today. I hope it helps. Bye-bye.